Before we get started, I want to let you all know that I recently released my brand new macrame holiday guides. Within these guides, you guys can learn how to make a full macrame Rudolph slash reindeer Christmas ornament, as well as some other great ornament projects that you won't find anywhere else. If you would like to learn more, please check out the link in the description, and I hope to see you guys there. Now, let's get started. Start by folding your first cord in half so that the side on the left is long and the side on the right is about seven inches long. Attach this cord folded as such to your ring with a reverse lark's head knot. Take your second cord and fold it evenly in half and attach this cord to the right of that last cord with another reverse lark's head knot. Then for your third cord, fold it in half so that the side on the left is about seven inches long and again attach that with a reverse lark's head knot. Once you have your cords set up on your ring, we're going to begin tying three square knots in a row. So I'm going to be using the two outer cords and tying them around all four cords here in the middle. I like to start on the right side to form right facing square knots. Once you have tied all three square knots in a row, separate your cords into two sections of three. Starting with this section here on the left, I'm going to tie three more square knots around the one cord in the middle. Repeat with the section on the right side.
Just like that. Now our first little antler is finished, but before we form the second one, I want to go ahead and take care of the ends that are left over from forming the antler. So I'm just going to take up my ring, and I'm gonna flip this around so now I'm on the back side of the project. I'm going to bring in a tapestry needle to help me finish out the ends. So what I'm going to do is take each of these ends and just pull them through the back sides of these square knots, okay? So the middle sections of the square knots is what I'm going to be pulling my ropes up through to keep them tucked and hidden. So I'm just gonna take the first rope here, thread it through my needle Then I'm gonna go down through two centers of the square knot, okay? Loosen that slightly before you start pulling it through. Then you can kind of pull it apart too with your fingers as you thread this through. So now my first cord is through the back of the antler and it's going to stay hidden back here. So I'm just going to take this center cord and repeat the same process. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scissors and trim off those two ends right where they stick out. Now I have one cord left in this section and I actually like to then skip the two square knots I just pushed the other ropes in because it gets a little full and tight. So I'm just going to skip those two and go down through the next one. Okay, so I'm just skipping up here where I went through and I'm going to go through the next one. Just like that. So if I flip this around, this is what the front side is going to look like. Okay, so the ropes are hidden behind and now they are also secured. Now an alternative to tucking in your ropes is to use fabric glue. So all you would do is trim your ends short and then lay them back against the backside of the antler and just glue them into place. Okay, so you could use fabric glue or hot glue or anything like that, okay? Just like that, this is the backside of that antler and this is the front. 
So now I'm just going to repeat the exact same process that we just did on this side one more time so I have two antlers. And here is what it looks like with both antlers attached. Now I'm just going to take a 10 inch piece of hemp cord and I'm going to make a little hanger from it. So I'm just gonna go under two cords from each section here right in the middle. I'm just gonna pull that even on both sides and then here at the top, I'm gonna to tie an overhand knot. Now your little antler ornament is complete, but I'm gonna go one step further and add a little bow here at the top. So I'm just going to take a red cord. I'm gonna tie it around the hemp cord we just attached. Okay, just with a simple knot. And then I'm just going to tie a bow. Once that bow is on, I'm just going to adjust the size and make it perfect for my own personal style. Just like that, okay? So the bow is completely optional. You can add one in um, your macrame cord or use a ribbon or anything like that, or you can completely remove the bow too. Okay, so this is the finished result. I absolutely love how it turned out, and I hope you guys do too. I just want to give a quick reminder that if you would like to learn how to make a full little Rudolph reindeer Christmas ornament, to please check out my brand new macrame holiday guides. Okay, not only will you learn how to make this Christmas ornament, but I also have five other exclusive macrame ornaments for you to learn. In addition, I have a second holiday gift guide that is full of great macrame gift ideas that you can make for the holiday season or really any time throughout the year. So please, please, please check it out in the link in the description if you would like to learn more. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.